Hi there everybody, it's UK independent demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.com. Thank you for joining me today. Today I am creating this card, wishing you all things fabulous, which is using the all things fabulous photopolymer stamp set and coordinating floral dies. I know, exciting. When we went through the catalogue on the catalogue launch, this was actually the first thing that I wrote down on my shopping list. It features on page 121 of the catalogue and here are all the stamps that are in the set. They are three step stamps so you can build up the definition in each flower piece. And then here is the bundle that includes the dies. So the stamp set is £20 and if you get it with the dies it is £44 which gives you a 10% discount. But I'm going to tell you how you can get it for free. In June only, when you join Stamping Up, they will give you a free bundle. So it's any bundle out of the entire catalogue, but this one would be my choice personally. So not only do you get £130 worth of product for £99, you get a free bundle as well. Great, right? I will talk to you more about that, but I'm going to get started on making this card. So first of all, these flowers, I've been playing around with these for ages. I think they're lovely. So I've got three different stamp sets, no, three different ink pads. I know what I've got. Early Espresso, So Saffron and Crushed Curry because you want to build up the colour that goes through. Okay, so when you look at the stamp set, this one here would be Early Espresso, Crushed Curry, So Saffron. Over here, Early Espresso, Crushed Curry, So Saffron. Early Espresso, Early Espresso, Crushed Curry, So Saffron. So those three go together, those three, and those three. Okay, so let me give you an example. I'm going to do this one here. So if I just open these up, so saffron, oh, come on, crush curry, close, 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 thank you. And early espresso. The reason my crushed curry isn't closing that well is because the label at the top has started to peel off and instead of sticking it down straight away like I should have done, I left it so the sticky went. Because you know, I'm daft. So like I said, I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to start off with the bigger flower and I'm going to do that in the lighter colour, which is so saffron. Get it all linked up. Put it down. And there we go. Okay, doesn't look anything yet. So then you're gonna come along with a slightly smaller piece, which is this one just here, the second piece. And you're gonna pop this into crushed curry. Okay, and you want to line up the gaps that are on there. So I, you're probably gonna see my head and I do apologize about that. But you want to line up the gaps So that it's like that. Okay. And finally, early espresso. So I've actually got um, some scrap just to the side because I'm going to stamp on and stamp off. So I've inked that and now I've inked it, I'm actually going to stamp it on my scrap and then I'm going to pop it onto the card. Okay. There you go. My next one I'm going to do is going to be this one at the top. And I'm going to do it exactly the same. So I'm going to start off with So Saffron. The key to this is going to be able to get your head over the top of the image. Crushed curry so that you can line it up. For instance, with this one, it's got a smile in it. So you've got a smile, a smile, and a smile. So you're gonna to wanna to keep lining that gap up. So again, you might see my head. There we go. I didn't quite get it lined up, but you're kind of in the position that I need to be, <laughs> unfortunately. So again, I'm just gonna stamp that off because I don't want it that dark. 
I'm going to come in. Oh, see, my head's trying to get in the way. <laughs> and pop that down on there. So that's that one. This is this one. And then we've got the little tiddly one. So, so saffron. Crushed curry. Again, my head is going to be like, oh, all right in the way. Do you know, I think that's even better than this one. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Straight over. Oh, no, stamp it off first. Otherwise, you're going to get it really dark. And then... stamp it over the top so the bits when you're doing your stamping that you want to look out for is this bit here this smile and this little half circle here and if they're all lined up your, pit, your flowers should then just pop out like I said there are coordinating dies they're here so you can die cut these out I've already done it to save time so I've die cut one of those ones out, two of those, and two of those. I only used one of each on this card. We'll see how we go. Okay. But that's pretty much how I've done that. So for the rest of the card, for this frame effect here, I've got two pieces of Whisper White cardstock that are 9.5 centimetres by 13.85 centimetres. And you'll notice they're identical sizes. You, there's no difference between the two. And I have the stitched oval. This is the second largest one in there. And I'm going to run this through the die cutting machine with this in the centre. Unfortunately, my die cutting machine doesn't fit in the picture. I know if I crank it with the handle, it actually catches the camera, which is slightly annoying. So I've got it just to the table to the side of me. So I'm just going to run that through. All right, once you've got that, you need some post-it notes or something that's equally got the stick, but you can remove it, if you know what I mean. Got a bit of tack on it. And I'm just gonna cut up there. And that is the sticky bit completely. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this into four. Okay, so I've got four, four pieces. I'm going to marry this together so that it sits completely where it should do. And I'm just going to pop these bits over here. Whatever you do with these, you can do it with washi if you want, but you want to make sure that even though it sticks into place, you can remove it. This is only just temporary sticking. Okay, and I'd recommend doing it in all four corners purely because you don't want it to move, okay? You want this frame, the 3D bit, to fit completely with the background behind it, okay? So then we come into more stamping. So I've got two more ink pads. I've got Smoky Slate, which I've used for the little bits of twigs there. Just stuck my thumb in there. <laughs> Very nice. And um, Soft Sea Foam, which I've used for the leaves. I was going to use a bright green for the leaves, but thought that it might just detract from how gorgeous the flowers were themselves. So I didn't do those. And there's all my little flower pieces. So to start off with, I'm going to do this one down here. It's exactly the same as what I have just shown you on the extra piece of paper. So I'm going to stamp it on. And for this, you really want to push down because you want to get it onto the bottom layer as well. Oh, stop. Before you do that, pop your sentiment on. And then you can position everything around it. So the sentiment was wishing, um, wishing you all things fabulous. And I stamped it in early espresso. So you can now line that up and pop it in the centre. Now, 
now you've got that you can work out where the images are I almost missed that and then I wouldn't have been able to fit my sentiment in <laughs> so now you can work these round so I want to do one of those and like I said you really want to push it down so that it clears that gap there if you do it lightly this bit here won't ink up crushed curry see if I can get my smiley face lined up this time Again, push down because you're going over the lip. And early espresso. And as previous, you want to stamp on a scrap piece of paper on the side. And then line that up. There you go. Okay. So the rest of the little bits and sprigs need to be filled in. So I'm going to use soft sea foam, just there. And just there. I've got the sprig. The sprig is in smoky slate. I'm sorry, my head keeps hitting the um, the camera. That is my fault. <laughs> I keep leaning forward and I know I can't, but I just do. I either need a smaller head or the camera to go up that way a little bit. Okay, so then you can start positioning your flowers around them. You can go in any which way. I'm going to try and follow what I did here. So I have got the little one, which is going to go there. Now I'm going to pop the little one up in a dimensional. These ones here, I actually stuck with my Tombow. And this one here I put up on a dimensional. So I actually have three different layers going on in this card. Up to you. I was just really enjoying playing with the layers. He's going to go on round about there. Okay. I'm going to come over here and play with the, the same. Well, I put the same one over there, but I'm actually thinking that I might use this one. Yeah, you don't want two cards the same, do you? So I'm going to pop that there eventually. So now I can look where I'm going to put my leaves. So I'm going to put my leaf there. I'm going to pop a leaf going off on a tangent. There. I'm actually going to pop another one coming out of this side. Pop the sprig over here. Crush curry. So now I can use my Tombow and get this stuck onto the card. Remember, only put it down on the bit that's going to be on the top bit. You don't want to stick this bit. You want that bit to be loose. Okay, so the glue is on those bits. Those bits are on this card, not on that card. There we go. Tombow is best for this because it allows you to manoeuvre around the flower. So as you can see, it hasn't stuck to that bit. Okay. So up the top, I think I'll have another one of those. Coming off. Yeah, like it there. So considering I said I was going to keep the cards the same, I really just didn't listen to myself, did I? You know, two cards should never really be the same. I say this with wedding cards. I used to make wedding cards. Um, before I became a demonstrator and used to do sort of um, wedding fairs and things like that. And I'm still very happy doing it and I do it for my friends if they ask. Um, but I much prefer to design wedding stationery now for others and sort of sell it as a party, giving you the products that you can use 
and you to make them with your bridesmaids because you get much more excited about your big day that way. And also, um, 150 cards for your wedding, you know, you're going to enjoy. <laughs> Whereas when I used to get to sort of like 10 cards, I'd be like, I want to change the, the pattern now. I want to play with someone else. <laughs> That's me. It's a demonstrator and fits me a lot better. on there. Position that down. I actually literally just drop that down. <laughs> there we are and then over on this side I've got this one to fit in too and that one's going to go there I think so is it going to go more over to the side? It might go more over to the side actually. Yeah it is and then I can get more green on the background. I've just realised what I did actually. I stamped that. So I'm going to stamp it on there. Pay attention to what you do in house. So this is the big flower, that's this one. I'm going to stamp it onto there. Pushing it down again. Don't worry. Don't automatically panic. Wait until you've got all of them and see if that's still a problem. But that's why you want to really push it down. See, that one's kind of covered it up, so it's not too much of a problem now. Stamp it off. There we go. Do I still want to put that on? I mean, I only had three on that one. Do I need to have... Oh, I might actually put it over there. I might. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Who knows? But yeah, this is... just going to take this corner off so that I can put the sprig on there. But seriously, how gorgeous is this stamp set? You need a lot of blocks if you're going to do all of the flowers. I mean, I ran short and that's why my leaves are on such a big, big block. But like I say, it's really up to, to you. You can just use one of the flowers, you don't have to use all three. I was just being greedy. First play with a new stamp set and I wanted every piece on there. So I'm going to leave one corner on and I bring my dimensionals in. So I'm going to fold up this corner and I'm going to come as close to the oval as possible. But at the same time, I'm also going to do around the edge. So you do need quite a few dimensionals to try and hold this up. So I'm going to pop one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. OK, take the backs off, get it stuck down. Okay, come over to this side. And now that that's stuck in place, you can peel this one off as well. And you can go to town with the dimensionals on this side. So I have put quite a few on, but I just... I don't like it when I have layers that go flat and this is a long bit to get stuck up so I have put quite a few on there. Now do I want to pop the additional ones on? I don't think I want to pop this one on but I do think I want that one on. 
pretty much where it is now. So pop a bit of Tombow on. There we go. Wishing you all things fabulous. So I've got a piece of So Saffron that's 10 centimetres by 14.25 centimetres. Just going to pop the glue on the back of this. And stick it on. I've put quite a bit of glue on there because this is actually quite heavy now having two different pieces of cards on there and all the dimensionals. So there we go. And then I'm just going to grab a card base, which I've already pre-cut and scored. And I'm just going to pop a load of Tombow on the back of there as well. So what do you think? Firstly, what do you think of the bundle? I love it. Um, it didn't disappoint. Like I said, it was the one I first wanted. And... It's been well worth the purchase. I love it. I can't wait to try it in different colours as well. And to try different flowers in different colours so I can have multicoloured cards. And then also, what do you think about getting this free? I would love to have you join my team. I have a growing team. Um, they're all really nice. Some of them are trying to demonstrate. Some of them are using it as a hobby. Really up to you how you want to, to progress. If you just want to get it for the discounts, that's absolutely fine. You get £130 worth of kit for £99, plus the free bundle if you join in June. And um, you don't have to stay. After that, you get 20% off all your purchases, but you don't have to stay a demonstrator or try and make it a business like I am. It's really up to you. If you did see this and want to try and make a business, then ask me about that as well. I can give you lots of hints and tips. And we do have a fun little group. We have some challenges in there. We, Well, I say challenges. I don't want to make it sound like problematic challenges. They're sort of like colour challenges and sketch challenges. And we challenge each other to use different colours and different layouts and things like that. It's quite fun. We're quite a nice group. If you want to know more information, just drop me an email, slimandstylish at live.co.uk or send me a message on any of my social media channels. If you do like this set but don't want to join, it is available from my store, slimandstylish.com. Go up to the header and click on buy and you'll find it there. It's called the All Things Fabulous and it's the Fabulous Floral Dyes. And all of the colours are available there too. So this is soft sea foam. Oh! Soft sea foam, smoky slate, so saffron, early espresso, and crush, crushed curry. And this is what I meant about the label earlier. I should have stuck that straight back down. Thanks for joining me today. If you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye, everyone.